Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the first ever BCS Bowl game in White Tails history. As I feel like we got disrespected, but we will play 10 in 3 in American Athletic Conference champions, Cincinnati. Now, Cincinnati will be in the Big Ten next season because of the promotion and demotion rules. And not only that, they have the Heisman Trophy winner in Robbie Richardson. He ran for over 2,500 yards on the season, 395 carries. That is just incredible. And look at the jump from his freshman season to his sophomore. Definitely took a big step up. What's surprising about that is that he had only one carry over 20 yards, so a lot of his yards just came off of getting a ton of carries. But this is our ultimate nightmare. Why? Because they have a quarterback, Kenny Johnson, who has 99 throw accuracy. And if you've ever played NCAA and you played against a quarterback that's been like 98, 99 accuracy, they are just like OP. So we are going to have our hands full as they have a decent defense as well, and they're definitely going to need it going into the Big Ten next season. USF is going to get demoted as well, along with another team probably. We're going to probably cut down the Big Ten uh, total down two guys. So here we go. Let's go into the bowl game here in the Fiesta Bowl. And Cincinnati will start out with the ball. So Robbie Richardson touches the field first, and so does Johnson at quarterback, the senior. Can he get a win to end his career? It's a play action fake on the first pass. Throw out to left side. He's got his tight end, Stanley, who will get up field for a 24 yard gain already. That's a big first down. So first and 10, handoff this time. The first carry, Robbie Richardson throws off a defender and gets to about the 35-yard line on a 16-yard carry. You can see those numbers just incredible. And here he is back in the pistol formation, lined up behind Johnson, throws out to the left side. He's got his receiver, Eric Griffin. That's 15 yards and another first down. So Cincinnati's offense is looking good so far. Nice block by the pulling guard who opens up a lane for Robbie Richardson. That is a gain of 11 for the Heisman Trophy winner. So first and goal, handoff up the middle. He runs over Derek and Pinto, but does get stopped by Jonathan Simmons. And that brings it to an eventual third and goal. Under center, Johnson tries to move Got to the right, him. and he's going to get sacked. That was Alvin Ebiselli and Brad Robinson there as Robinson gets credit for the sack. But look at Ebiselli setting the edge, and we do get them to settle for the field goal. So out comes our offense, one of the best offenses in the nation this year, sitting here at number eight in the country. Here's the first throw, and that is Xavier Storm, the leading receiver. He picks up 16 yards for a first down. Two straight 1,000-yard receiving seasons for Storm. Handoff this time, Jabari Blaze. He's got about 820 yards rushing going into this game, and he picks up nine yards as well. So second and one this time from the shotgun. De Roberto throws out to Maurice. Highlights Jackson, the true freshman. And that's going to be deflected. Nice play by the nickel corner. So third and one handoff up the middle. And Jabari Blaze gets lit up. And that's not going to be a gain of anything. And we get it to a fourth and one. We're going to line up to go for it. It's four down territory here. Close to about the 45. De Roberto throws and it's deflected. Intended for Chris Coretta. And that will be the first turnover of the game by either team. That's a great defensive play. Two nice deflections by their defense. So now here comes Robbie Richardson getting the first carry of the next drive. And he gets to the left side, only picking up a gain of three tackled from behind by the senior, Derek Impinto. So third and six from the shotgun. This time the running slant throws across the middle, and that's Terrell. He's got it for eight yards, and that's the thing. Johnson has that accuracy. He's not going to miss many throws like the quarterbacks we've been facing this year who have been struggling. We've played a lot of struggling quarterbacks, and here's a throw to the right side. Johnson finds McNeil. That's just a gain of three. So under center this time for a third and seven. We got to come up with a stop here. Johnson under center throws the ball deep and he's got a man. That's Terrell. Touchdown, Roderick Terrell. He gets behind the secondary and it seemed like that was a blown coverage. Nathan Beaver was back and had the safety help over the top and he gives up the big play. It's 10 nothing Cincinnati. So here we go back on offense. Here is Francis Smith who is returning from an injury 
and he gets a gain of 30 in his first game back. Welcome back. And he is a sophomore red shirt. He picks up a gain of 30 yards. So second and nine, throw across the middle, wide open. Maurice Jackson, who puts out a move but takes a hit. That's a gain of 26. D. Roberto looking good on the first couple throws of this drive. So we get it inside the 15 yard line from the second and seven. Here's a throw and that's picked off. That is Carr who plays that one perfectly. He had the underneath coverage. He also had the out route on that one and he makes a move on Xavier Storm. Maybe that was a bit underthrown, and that ends up being a turnover here for Di Roberto. So Cincinnati now has a 10 point lead and they have the ball back. Here's a throw out to the right side. Johnson finds Dave Goodman for 11 yards, actually their best rated receiver on the team, he gets a first down. So here is Robbie Richardson this time, hand up, up the middle, just throws off of a guy, and man, he is not playing like a 75 overall running back so far, he picks up a first down. So first and 10, look at this blocking, a big hole, Robbie Richardson breaks a tackle, and he's gonna break down field, and I just highlighted before this game, he had one carry over 20 yards, there it is right there, another one, gain of 34. So hand up, up the middle this time, Robbie gets about five yards, and that brings it to about a third and two to wind down this first quarter, hand up, up the middle, Robbie rides the wave of defenders and somehow gets the first down, that's a gain of four, it looked like that was gonna be stopped short but he just rides on the backs of the defenders. It's a first down. So handoff this time, Lumpkin in the game, and that's a touchdown. 17-0 here for Cincinnati. They were the underdogs in this game. Kirk Urshry did pick them in this game as well. And now they have the 17-point lead. So now to start the second quarter, here's a throw out to the right side. The senior, Jacoby Beck, he picks up 13 yards on that one, and it is a big first down catch on that one. So now at about the 41 yard line, handoff this time, Jabari Blaze, he gets pushed forward for about a gain of eight. Surprised he got that much yardage out of that one. And now we get into about the 48 yard line, second and two, throw across the middle. It's gonna be Maurice Jackson, the freshman again, 11 yards for him and a first down. So now second and six this time, Jabari Blaze, handoff up the middle and he will get about a gain of nine. As we move the chains once again, we've been doing it on a couple of drives now. And can we put some points on the board this time? Here's Diaberto, throw to the sideline, and there is another catch by Maurice. Highlights Jackson, gain of 12. So Diaberto is looking good so far this drive. Here's a throw to the left side. Jacoby Beck, the senior, playing in his final game. He gets inside the five yard line, and he has been all over the field for us in his Whitetails career, a first down. Here's a throw across the middle. That is Xavier Storm. That is four yards for the sophomore, and he gets in. And that's going to bring this to a 17 to 7 lead. So now down by two scores. Here is a handoff up the middle, and that's it. That is Alvin Ebicelli with the penetration on that one. And he gets the stop, bringing it to a third and 14. We send the blitz. Here's Johnson. Throw off to the right side, and that's caught by Griffin. But take a look at this replay. Not sure he got a foot inbound, so I went to challenge it. And it looks like we are going to get this one overturned. So we do force the punt. And now we have a chance to bring it back to within three points. So now at about the 47 yard line, here's a handoff. Jabari Blaze gets stopped in the backfield. This Cincinnati defense is looking pretty good so far, but we can still do better on offense. So third and 11, here's a throw out to the left side, and that is DiRoberto overthrowing Xavier Storm on that one. And that is gonna be another punt here, as now we had to make some stops. It seems like we're gonna be playing from behind now because if we can't make throws on third down and we can't stop this running attack, we're gonna have problems in this game. So now they get it to about a second and seven at about the 27 yard line, handoff. Robbie Richardson, a clean hole. He breaks to the outside, picks up another block in another big game down the sideline. Zane Alexander is gonna run him down, but just slow him up. And that's 70 yards. So we were just talking about not over one uh, rush of 20 yards or more. And with that carry, 70 yards down the field, he breaks Barry Sanders rushing record on that one. Wow. 70 yards just like that. So here's Robbie Richardson on the next carry, throwing off a defender and look at him, fighting in. This might be the best 75 overall running back I've ever seen 
And with that one, he already had the record it looked like. He has the school record with rushing touchdowns with 23. So now it's 24 to seven. Man, now we have to really play catch up. Here is Maurice Jackson getting open on the left right side. And that's a gain of 11 and a first down. So now we're past the 50 yard line, second and four. This time Maurice Jackson backtracks, but they give him the first down anyway. And that's a gain of four yards. So now three minutes left here in the first half. Here's a throw across the middle and that is gonna be picked off once again, intended for Price Greer. Branch makes the play and wow, this Cincinnati defense is all over the field. Their offense is doing a great job with their balance. And here comes Johnson and Richardson back out onto the field. Richardson throws off a defender. This guy is impossible to tackle. You can just see every single time he touches the ball, he breaks at least one tackle. So here is Stanley getting the catch across the middle. We're just trying to do something, send a blitz, try to get a stop or a big sack or something. They just keep moving the chains. So here's Johnson, throws to the left side. That is Terrell again, who's already gotten to the end zone one time. And that's a gain of 15. Now they're in scoring range once again. So with under a minute left here in the first half, here is Richardson, handoff up the middle, who's gonna spin forward to about the three yard line, bringing it to a second and two. So they don't pick up any yardage on second down. Bring it to a third and two. This time Johnson throws, and that's going to be incomplete. Probably a smart throw on that one, not throwing it accurately because our guy was right there. It could have been an interception. And now they settle for the field goal. So a 27-7 game here with 30 seconds left here in the first half. Just trying to get down the field. There is Francis Smith back from injury. He's got three catches in the first half. So first and ten. Rolling out to the right side. DiRoberto throws to the sideline. That is caught by Jacoby Beck. And that's a 15-yard gain for the senior and a first down. So the clock does stop here. And we get a quick throw across the middle. That's Jacoby Beck. And we will burn our first timeout. And that's another first down at 15 seconds left here in the first half. So now first and 10 at about the 29 now. DiRoberto trips to the right side. And a running back out there to help block this time. He throws to the right side. He's got Xavier Storm. That is a touchdown. 29 yards out. All right, all right. Now we're starting to come back, have some momentum going into halftime. That's a great throw by DiRoberto. Finding his favorite target, that's Xavier Storm getting in for his second touchdown of the first half. And it might be a manageable uh, comeback here. Down by two scores, we get the ball at half. Let's get into it in the second half. So here we go to start the second half. We are down by two scores, but it, we can come back. It seems like we can make some stops, stop in the run. We can bring ourselves right back in this game with a scoring drive to open the second half. So here we come out with four wide receivers now. Second and two, throw across the middle. That is Maurice Jackson. He's been busy in this first half, a gain of 22 for the freshman. It's a first down. So now from the shotgun, here is a throw out to left side. That's Xavier Storm, who's had two touchdowns in the first half, getting busy, four receptions for 59 yards, and another first down. So here is Jabari Blaze, who's been running the ball pretty well. He's got a gain of five as he's in his final game as well as a white tail. So going to be a weird send off and seeing the next recruiting class and the next guys up, it's definitely going to be different. Third and five, throw out to the right side. That's Xavier Storm who is gonna try to fight forward for the four yards, but he will be short of the first down marker. So we bring in Brian Simmons, the backup quarterback, fourth and one, handoff, actually a quarterback blast, and that's gonna be an eight yard carry and another first down. So now at about the 20 yard line, this time DiRoberto throws to the right side. That is gonna be Jacoby Beck, 12 yards inside the 10 yard line and another first down. So DiRoberto this time, throw across the middle. It's going to be caught again. Touchdown, Maurice Jackson, eight yards out. And he's got three touchdown passes, two interceptions in this game so far. But it's now down to just a one-score lead. So here is Roderick Terrell getting the catch to start the next drive. And that is going to be a gain of 22. Man, he has been busy as well. He's almost at 100 yards so far in this game. But the man we need to stop is Robbie Richardson. He gets a block downfield, and he's going to break free. That's a touchdown. Take a look at this run. 
This was some cheese right here. Look, Marvin Woods is right there, and we do not get the animation for the tackle, and instead Robbie Richardson picks up two great blocks downfield from Roderick Terrell. It's a touchdown back to two-score lead. So now here is Jabari Blaze starting out the next drive, getting going on the ground, and that's going to be a gain of seven. As now Cincinnati, I mean, if they come up with a stop here, we might be in big, big trouble. So here's a scramble out to the right side. This time, DiRoberto tries to keep it himself, and that's going to be a stop on third down. So now we're going to be gutsy. Go for it. Fourth and three. This is a bowl game for crying out loud. Here's a throw out to the right side, and it's going to be knocked away. Jacoby Beck cannot hold on. And now Cincinnati could very well put this game away with a touchdown on this drive. So here's Roger Terrell getting going once again with another catch to the right side. And then brings it to a third and seven. Here's a throw out to the left side. And Stanley has it, and he drops it. We catch a break. So now they kick the field goal, and it's to a 16-point lead. So it is still a two-score lead. We are still in this game. So now first and ten out the next drive, trying to run a play action, and Cincinnati sends the perfect blitz. Jonathan Jackson gets in there for a loss of nine yards. So third and 19, this time throw across the middle. It's Price Greer who holds on to it in traffic. That is about a gain of 23 yards. We need a 19 and that's a first down. So now we get it across the 50 yard line. Second down pass, throw out to the right side. That's Xavier Storm getting open. Once again, gain of 17. So we follow that up here with a throw to the right side. That is Chris Coretta now inside the 10 yard line. And now we're looking good here on this drive, trying to bring it back to within a one-score game. Di Roberto scrambling out to the right side. He's got nothing but room. He's going to try to die for the pylon, and he does get stopped short of the goal line. And now we bring it to a second and goal. We bring it Brian Simmons for the quarterback blast, and he's in. That's a touchdown. And now we have to go for two here to bring it to a thin one score down by 10 points, and we do not get it. So now here we go to start the fourth quarter. Here is Cincinnati back out on offense, handing the ball off to Robbie Richardson. That's a nice stop. That time, I believe that was Zane Alexander as he stops the run. So now second and eight this time. Richardson run out to the left side. He's going to have it in a lot of room. He breaks the tackle and gets pushed out of bounds at about the 37-yard line and a first down. So can we stop Robbie Richardson? That is the question here down the stretch. Here is Johnson. He's going to have all day to throw. Where is the pressure? Throws deep. He's got Goodman who breaks the tackle, and he's in. Touchdown. Wow. We cannot get a stop on defense to save our lives. If it's not stopping the pass, it's not stopping the run. I mean, they can do anything they want right now. Man, this might be the worst defensive game this season. So now here are the white tails back on offense. Di Roberto is going to wind up, throw this one deep on the first play. He's got Xavier Storm, gain of 51. He's over 100 yards with that catch. And that's a great throw by Di Roberto for the big first down. So now we're inside a field goal range, but we're thinking six on this drive. Here is Francis Drive, or Francis Smith throws to the right side, and that's going to be a gain of 12. And now we get it inside the five yard line here, down by three scores, throw to the end zone. It's caught, Jacoby Beck for the three yard touchdown. But now we're back to within 10 points and now it doesn't even make sense to go for it on two. So now it's back to a 10 point lead. So we need a field goal. First we need a stop, but a field goal and a touchdown will tie this game up. So here is the run out to the left side. That's Robbie Richardson just tripped up by Marvin Woods, bringing it to a third and 10. Screen pass out to left side. Perfect blocking. Robbie Richardson gets down, and he gets to about the 48-yard line. That's a gain of 26. That's a backbreaker. We had a third down and an opportunity to stop him. He gets the first down on the screen pass. So here's a run out to the right side. Robbie Richardson breaks a tackle from Derek and Pito. And look at this guy. I mean, man, we just highlighted the, the number of runs over 20. I mean, does he have like five this game already? I mean, he is just incredible. The best 75 overall running back I've ever seen. So now they get it to the 20 yard line here on a third and four. Another screen pass, but this time they're gonna throw it away down the right side. And now we get them to settle for a field goal. 
So that means now that we score a touchdown, we're just down by one score. So we are still in this game somehow. So here is DiRoberto scrambling out to the right side and tries to get rid of it, and he can't. That's a sack, loss of six yards. As now we're inside about the six yard line here. DiRoberto just from his own end zone, throws to the middle of the field and that's gonna be knocked away by Ricky Dottie. And now they get it to a third and 16. We try to run some routes deep and we're gonna get sacked. It's gonna be a safety. And now it's a 15 point lead and Cincinnati has possession as our offensive line just got abused on that great swim move. And now here we go, second and eight, as they have the ball back here with two with a two possession lead. Here is Richardson with the carry out to the right, left side, and he does get the first down. I mean, man, we just cannot stop this guy at all. Their offensive line is dominating as well. Here is Richardson, run out to the left side. Look at this, I mean, just two big stiff arms and he picks up a gain of six. There is nothing you can do about that. Our guys are just not making the tackles. So second and four, another counter play. Look at this, it's up the middle seven yards. And with that one, 313 yards. And look at this, he breaks the school rushing record for yards in a game. And wow, now they're inside of two minutes left here in the game and with possession. Here's a handoff and finally a stop. That's Blake Childress in the backfield as we call our first timeout. So second and 13, they have about 600 yards of total offense. Richardson up the middle, look at this vision. He cuts back, that's a touchdown, 32 yards. Wow, this guy might be the best running back I've ever faced in any series, in any game. I mean, this guy is only 75 overall. He breaks so many tackles. He has the vision of a freaking, I don't even know, Man, this guy is just amazing. As now here we come back on offense, just chucking one deep, and that is it. We lose the Fiesta Bowl to 10 and three. Cincinnati, the American Athletic Conference champions, I guess they're showing why they are getting promoted into the Big 10, and that will be another loss in a bowl game. We are below 500 in bowl games. I mean, just, just believe that right there. I mean, Robbie Richardson had the game of his life. It looks like he won the Heisman, the Walter Camp, the Maxwell, all of those awards for a reason. He was, I mean, spectacular. I mean, this guy looks like a top 10 running back in the NFL draft come next season. I mean, man, this guy did whatever he wanted. 37 carries. 370 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, that is the type of season that they had here in Cincinnati. Their senior running back was supposed to be the starter. He got hurt and was out for the season with the torn rotator cuff. And Robbie Richardson just says, hey, I'll take it. I'm gonna run for almost 3,000 yards. I mean, man, what a phenomenal season. I gotta tip my hat to the game plan. They did not veer away from running the ball. And I said they gave Robbie Richardson about 100 more carries than they did last year. And they did just that. And look at me, it paid off. They ended up beating the Big Ten champions. So we will see them next year. I want my revenge on Robbie Richardson. Hopefully the Big Ten committee does schedule us. Like I said, I'm making some adjustments to how big the Big Ten is. I'm gonna remove, we're gonna obviously do the promotion and demotion, but I'm probably gonna remove another two schools so that we have four out of conference games because I think we had too many Big Ten games this year. And then just looking at the stats here to end this season, Kenny Johnson, he was pretty good as well, 19 for 29, and he had two touchdowns. So Justin DiRoberto does break the school record for passing touchdowns and passing yards, beating Adam Miller. So that is a good thing going forward for his career. And looking at the rest of the NCAA, Wisconsin does end up defeating UCF in their bowl game. And then just looking at the rest of the games, Navy actually got beat down by Georgia. Remember I said that Georgia actually won a national championship or two in this series. I guess I'm gonna, I guess I'll highlight that in the uh, off season video. I'm not really sure how many. Brent Thompson and Ohio State did end up beating Kansas State barely as Brent Thompson didn't even have a great game. It looks like uh, he's had two pretty inconsistent games in a row. 
34 to 28 ends up being the final there. Penn State does beat Virginia Tech, who had a chance to be in the national championship if they would have won in their conference championship in the ACC, beating Florida State, but they ended up losing that and then end up losing their bowl game as well. And then LSU does come away with the national championship. Coach Ogeron does end up beating Florida State, and they might actually be coached by Deion Sanders by now. Who knows? And they end up getting the victory by three points. That must have been a really good game there in the natty so next video we will get the off season i'm not really sure what our offseason recruiting is going to look like because right now we actually have a bottom recruiting class so we're going to need some recruits to commit to our school to kind of boost us up in the future so hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned off season video next let's get it let's go yeah, they filling out these job applications Life got hard after high school graduation I went to college and your boy got financial aid They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's And I bought a pair of shades, and I bought a new computer Half a hundred dollars left, spent the rest on...